and welcome to Kate in Scotland. Today I'm going super back in time and carving a turnip for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> This is my friend Christina. She is visiting me from America and she brought me candy corn. It's here. <laughs> so today, Christina's gonna carve a pumpkin and I am gonna carve a turnip. I've never carved a turnip before, but my grandpa used to do it on Halloween and some of my older family has done it before and I feel out of the loop and I wanna know what it was like. I've heard that it's really difficult uh, it was suggested that I need a chisel at one point, which I don't have. So this will be a fun adventure. When you go to the grocery, it will say neep, not turnip, neep. That's what you're looking for. Ta -da. I only have kitchen knives and regular tools at my disposal, such as like my normal tableware spoons. I have a potato peeler. I think that should suffice for the turnip. We'll see. I may have nine fingers by the end of this. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How do people eat these like on a regular basis? That's insane. It's so, it's so crooked. It works. Thought it. All right, now it's your turn. This is the biggest pumpkin that we could find at the supermarket. So it was one pound, 50 pence, which is a pretty good price, I think, for a pumpkin. Yes! While Christina's working on that, I am gonna get started with this guy. How? I don't know. Maybe I'll start with the peeler. Do you like pumpkin seeds? I don't really care about pumpkin seeds. At home, we a lot of people roast the pumpkin seeds that they take out of their jack-o'-lanterns. Yeah, I don't really care about pumpkin seeds. You're doing it. <laughs> it's happening. We're getting there. <laughs> if you're watching this and thinking, you're doing it wrong, I say to you, why are you still carving turnips? This sucks, it's really hard. That was a good chunk. Right? Nice. I'm super pumped about it. This is how you carve a pumpkin. <laughs> this is legit. <laughs> Just get your hands in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that looks good. Oh yeah. Inside of the pumpkin. And this is actually going a lot faster than I thought. I may have spoken too soon, but. <laughs> You may find throughout this video that this lamp is trying to talk to us. Um, what are you trying to tell us? Are you in the upside down? <laughs> Just won't stop now. Ooh, yeah, the best pumpkin that I've ever carved was the face of Wario, and it was incredible. I will insert a picture here. <laughs> Last year I had a white pumpkin, and I did Jack Skellington, and that was awesome. Ooh, yeah. yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> I can't tell if I'm just really weak or if this is really hard. This is where I'm at right now. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> While Christina is working on the details of her jack-o'-lantern, I am going to show you an incredible thing that she has brought me. Not only did she bring me candy corn with pumpkins, she brought me candy corn M&Ms. What? I've been dying to try these since she brought them yesterday. 
<laughs> they smell super weird. Like, they don't smell like M&Ms or candy corn. Okay, I'm gonna try one. One, two, three. I don't think I like that. I don't know. That's disappointing. That's so disappointing. I'm gonna crack one open just so we can see the inside. <laughs> that is so weird. It kind of tastes like white chocolate, but... Yeah, that's what it tastes like, white yeah, chocolate. Like white chocolate, but not good. Let's wash out the bad taste with real candy corn. <laughs> this is what I was missing. There's nothing really special about it. It's just sugar and it's really chewy and kind of crumbly. It's... Whoa! Whoa! That's so good! Buggy buggy. This is hard! I think, I think this is probably the best that I can do with a turnip. And I'm kind of happy with it. Here we are. Okay, let's put some lights in these guys. Yeah. And see what they look like. <laughs> I got these at the grocery and they were obviously a pound. And they come with batteries and I'm pumped about that. Yay, and flickers. <laughs> they look so good. I love it. I'm really impressed. I really thought that this was going to turn out to be an epic failure, but this turned out really great, <laughs> I think. Look at him. I'm over the moon about him. I'm going to go put him outside. Oh, it's going to be so cute. So this was definitely not as hard as I thought it was going to be. Um, I mean, it took a bit longer to get any kind of detail because you're working with a smaller canvas, but I felt pretty much like it was like carving a small pumpkin. I didn't really see too much of a difference, except that the turnip smell is intense. <laughs> so if you're sensitive to turnip smell, <laughs> be warned. This was really good. Yeah, high five. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. This was a really, really good day and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you want to see some more videos, check out my channel. Uh, if you have any tips about turnip carving or pumpkin carving, leave them in the comments and we can have a chat. Thanks for Christina for helping me out. This has been a really good day. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Ooh! Turn.